Yo, what is going on guys and gals? It is me, JT, and I am back with some more awesome videos and more content to bring to you guys and gals. I know I was gone for a while, but the internet ran into some situations and in the end, we just ended up switching out our provider. So now I've got that fast, good connection for internet so I can send in videos faster. Hopefully get some live streams up for you guys and gals. And I'm very, very excited to be upgrading to this new net and bringing you guys more quality content. So be on the lookout for that. But I'm going to be talking about what I thought of the new ARMS crash event. Now, if you guys and gals didn't know, there is an ARMS party crash event going on now from November 22nd to November 24th. And it's basically just a nice little, little slap fest type of dealio, you know, but with ARMS. And I feel like Nintendo made a very good push in the right direction for providing this type of content to ARMS. Now, uh, this event was very fun. I've only played through the first day of it, so it's still going on. It's a very long lasting event. And at the end of it, I believe we're going to get results on who the best character was and who was the most character was played in the arms event so we had spring man and ribbon girl this time me obviously i play spring man no hate on ribbon girl it's just i feel like spring man he doesn't get a lot of love you know and i felt like i needed to show some love for spring man and for some reason i'm really good at him like he is a very fun character i've just never thrown my focus towards this character a lot and that's what this event was really good at it showed us new ways to play with our arms by giving us select amount of items like it didn't limit us to the items we could use if we wanted to use a dragon arm and we wanted to use an icy chilla or something like that we had the ability to use it however during this event we were giving like a set amount of rules that we could play through and certain arms that would give you an XP bonus boost. And what I'm basically talking about here is like in this arms event, you get two arms that you get to choose from and you get to choose like, uh, so let's say I get the bounce back shield and I get just a normal electro arm or toaster or something like that, you know? They give us those two items and if we use those two items that goes towards an exp boost that we can gain in there and basically i believe once you reach a lot of levels you earn a lot of prizes which is like new badges new uh more coins for the arms getter and overall just more exciting things that you can unlock and get for your character to make your game look better and just overall very cool event you know and it was very cool, you know, the concept around it was great. There, I didn't see a lot of flaws in it, you know, of course, the game modes were cool, you know. There was also, like, a bunch of cool little mix-ups where it was just, hey, we're gonna have you guys all rush attack now. So basically, every single match that you played in, like, whether it was headlock scramble or a 1v1, or maybe it was a 3-on-3 three, a, a three three battle, or maybe not a 3-on-3 three three battle, but more of like a 1-versus-1-versus-1 uh, one versus one versus one type of fight, you all had your rush attacks immediately as soon as you got knocked down your rush attack was back and that was just a cool little thing that i think nintendo added in and the arms developers put in and it just mixes up the play ways that you could play with arms you know and this also taught me a lot of ways how to play with like new arms and it really adjusted me to this character because i never played spring man before you know i wasn't very fun i'm more of a helix and lollipop player but now that they've given me like a strict way to play spring man and i can earn extra credits off of that then it pushed me to play the character more and i think that's what this event's all about just shedding light on the characters that need a little bit more playing you know to get people to try and mix and match arms a different way you know and there were some events where they switched it up and they played like new events like uh you get new different arms in a match no matter how you set it up if you have a loadout with a bunch of different arms this match will throw you in a match with whole new arms loaded in and then you get to mix and match and see if this style works you know and i feel like it was geared mostly to the characters to help us improve with the characters that we don't play and hopefully introduce a new way of fighting with arms and helping us mix up our play styles a lot which is something i loved now and overall um you know i saw a lot of people joining into this event and a lot of people just coming in and having a lot of fun and participating in the event but of course, there were a couple of players who decided to play a different character throughout the event. It's not locked to uh, just two characters like Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. It's actually, you know, free for all. If you wanted to play freaking Helix during the event, you gladly can. And I like that, you know, it added a little bit of mix up. But there were times when we were fighting and it was a 2v2 and there was a freaking... Uh, 
there is a freaking like let's say we had a team full of spring mans and then we had a kid cobra on there uh just left alone we all targeted the kid cobra and murdered him because he wasn't a spring man so i, I think if you play a different character and there are two specific characters that are being played you're most likely going to get teamed up on but overall it was all in good fun uh it was a, a very enjoyable event if i say so myself you know and the lobbies and the decorations for this event it was just it was very polished you know it gave us a new feeling it didn't make us feel like we were playing the same old party mode it was an actual new event similar to the splatfest you know how the splatfest gives you two different things to play as and you get to choose what team you want to be on i was team Springman all day and it was a very good thing that arms needed because i feel like a lot more people are saying that the arms community is dying and i'm sort of starting to agree but disagree at the same time the arms community is still a little bit level-headed about there you know we're getting a lot of players to play but ranked matches are taking a long time mostly because i want to get matched up with somebody my skill rep level uh, not to mention that i'm like rank 12 in arms and just because like splatoon 2 really did take the audience from arms and throw it into their game no hate on splatoon 2 though i own the game very good game i understand why a lot of people migrated from arms to splatoon 2 but this event gives arms another part in the limelight you know it lets us it lets arms's potential fully shine it creates a diverse innovative polished again fun way to play arms even if you don't like it that much you know and the modes and the matches and the mix-ups it was a very fun thing to go through and i really do hope that nintendo goes through this even more now overall with the polishing of the maps i feel like it was great you know we had that sort of jazzy type of tune in the lobby and we just we got pumped up it pumped you up you know because when you press the l and r buttons you know usually when you do an emote in the lobby it actually had that little girl going sing you know i can't do it right but it just it felt alive you know and i feel like that's what arms really is it's an alive game that keeps you in the game you know it just grabs your focus and throws you on this very positive direct path which is very good the challenges they were fun they were pretty cool i liked them they were awesome the game modes were nice you know everything was just polished and perfect and you know i didn't see any glitches errors or bugs i did you know feel a little bit wavy about some matches you know like with a headlocked but that was mostly just because you know team play was an issue there and everything was just you know a little bit hectic but it was all in good fun and everything seemed to go pretty well this event my only questions for the end of this event is what are the prizes that we can get i don't think i've seen on the official nintendo page yet what prizes we can earn from this event and like what things we can obtain through this event that would make our arms experience better you know i feel like it would be more exclusive badges to the players that hit like maybe over level 10 and then you know some little badges for the people that didn't really level that much and didn't really play that much but it's it's a really fun event and if you guys and gals haven't checked out the arms event i recommend you know power on arms if you haven't played it in a while and just give it a go you might be surprised it's november 22nd through november 24th and it's just overall a blast to play now some of you might not like it some of you will like it it, it depends all on you guys you know but i really do hope that you guys and gals enjoyed this event because i absolutely loved it i really wish to see nintendo do this in the future and maybe add a little twist onto it you know maybe uh headlock could be a character that we could choose from something like that you know maybe the new character can be revealed during this something cool and fun like that but i really do hope you guys and gals really like this discussion video and have you guys and gals played this event yet have you guys and gals gotten your hands on it what do you guys and gals think about this event do you think it looks cool and for some of you that haven't played this event do you think that it would be very good and powering up the arms scene and making arms a very very good game and rising back up to the viewership it once had at release i would like to thank you guys and gals for watching this video I will be making another Topic Talk video on how uh, Splatoon 2's new update is coming. If you guys and gals didn't know, it's about 10 o'clock my time right now. But on November 23rd, which it should be uploaded by the time that this is, you know, everything should be going on. Splatoon 2 is getting a very big update with 150 new items, 4 new battle maps, and an upcoming competitive mode. Just a lot of cool stuff. We could be able to change our weapons through the menu now without having to go, you know, and exit the, uh, 
the game and then change your weapons. We can change it in lobby now, which is brilliant, fantastic. New maps, new all that. I'll be making a topic talk video about this, and I also have some other videos to make it about. But thank you guys and girls for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe button. Tell me down below what you guys and girls felt about this arms update, and peace out.